makeup of my class today is a variety of students. We have ELL students there, we have students that have um, that are SPED students, we even have students that are also um, in link classes. So it's, a, it's a, a high variety of students that's in that particular class. The benefits of ACHIEVE for me as a science teacher is to help incorporate the literacy piece in which I need as a content teacher to prolong or to extend my science lessons. So with ACHIEVE, I'm able to give them um, extended vocabulary lessons or extended articles that allows them to bring their knowledge, what they've learned there, into the science classroom. Convection current. Make sure you go ahead and, and have the definition for that. And I want you to pick. I want you to pick some more. So that shouldn't cause you to stop. What word did we talk about this week that in this this paragraph right here that you should know? And what two words should you know? Uh, place. Yeah. Place and time. What two places did we learn about? I'm pointing at it, see? It's in, the, it's in the last sentence. Oh, the uh, North American plate? Yep, the North American plate. And is it uh, the South American plate? Yeah, we did. We did learn about the South American plate, but then the South American plate is not there. So you did, you do see that one right there, right? Okay, so don't let that, don't let that keep you. Go ahead and finish that. I incorporated the text evidence paper that we use and again, that's helping them with their text. That's helping them with their test taking strategies that they'll be using throughout the star for every content. Where simply they go through the activity and getting them to slow down, not just answering the question, but why did you get the answer? What did you choose for this? I agree. Why? Okay, so that's going to be a good after one. So which word did we say we were going to use? Convention uh, current. Okay, so you're going to come back and you're going to write it over here, okay? Mm-hmm, okay. So you think your two answers, go back to that. Your two answer choices are going to be between what? Okay, why A? So what's going to be your two answer choices? What, what two best answer choices are you going to choose? You got A. What's the other one? Okay. I like learning this way because it helps me answer the question, like give me a 50-50 chance of getting the question right. Did you highlight? Did you highlight something? What did you highlight? I love that the, high, that the highlighter tool is there because it gives them the way to slow down and to highlight those key points because some students have to increase the screen or so what the highlighting tool gives them the opportunity to go back in case they forgot. I use the uh, highlighting tool and summarizing tool because if I summarize the paragraph, I'll, get the, I'll, I'll, I'll summarize all the paragraphs and I'll build up the main idea. And then the highlighting tool is to set us out the important information from the uh, non-important information. How close are you? Okay. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. What's what's that? Without even trying to blow it up a little bit. What 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 are these? Mm-hmm. So how are they used? How are they used in the Earth? What is it? It's, uh, it's telling you right here. So what do you think is happening here? Put that there. Convection currents are usually caused by the rise and releasing of the air. So, um, What's circulating here, though? Warm air. Right. You think it's any cool air up under there? No. No. Probably not. Okay. So you had you had two pages of that. Yes. Okay. Let me know when you're close to your. Let me know when you're close to your 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 activity. Raise your hand. What 
question can you generate from this particular one right here, okay? I love the generating questions part of Achieve because it allows the students to slow down. It allows them to slow down, make connections, and even if they do not make the connections at the beginning, I'm always checking in with them because by the end they've made those connections because if you're generating questions throughout the lesson, then by the time you get to your activity questions, it shouldn't be a problem with answering those questions. And it's also a good tool to prepare them for their upcoming um, reading um, star that they have to take. So they're doing it every day. They're doing it every day so that it's not something new. So we're constantly, constantly knowing where they're at and we're constantly able to talk to them about, look how much you've grown. Look at me, because your lexile is increasing. You, do you understand that? And giving them those incentives to say, you know what, you were here when you started, but guess where you're at here. So with them seeing how much that they're able to accomplish, it really, it really boosts their self-esteem. And I think self-esteem for a middle school student is very important. Because if you help them with their self-esteem, they will perform for you and they will do their best. And to let them know that if you didn't make it this time, let's keep on trying. And if you keep trying, you'll get there.